A third Ward High School that's produced nearly two dozen pro football players is in need of a new field. So there is a fundraiser in the works to purchase it, but there's also some controversy. Alumni are divided on how to get it all done. Fox 26's Sherman DeSalle joining us live from Houston. You spoke to some alumni about this issue. Yeah, a big issue for Jack Yates. 18 months ago, a project was started to get a new football field for this uh, high school, this historic high school. One organizer thinks it can get done with some unity, while his opposers say it's too expensive and they question the strategy. It's larger than the field. It's for the children of this school that we say we love. Jack Yates High School alum Carl Davis says a new football field at the historic school would mean a lot to the students. There's a current fundraiser underway to see that happen. The goal, over $400,000. The field will cost an estimated $880,000. Davis says the project is funded through private and community partnerships. The NFL Grassroots Foundation grant covers $250,000, while the Houston Texans pitched in a matching grant of another 200000 We can get it done, but if we work together, and that's what we're asking to all the Yates alumni, come together. But fellow alum like active community member Gary Monroe are calling foul on the strategy and the organizer. We were not informed properly that this was a matching grant. We, we didn't know as a community, as alumni base, that we needed to match the 450000 Also, one stipulation for the grant money is they must use a field turf of the Texans' choice, constructed by Hellas, a company popular in Texas high schools. Opposers say that makes it too expensive, and if the deal was structured differently, it would have cost less than half the price. And one vendor is, you know, twice as much as the other vendor. So now you have to raise twice as much money to do that. One thing the two groups agree on are they want what's best for the students. And they're hoping the community can step in to help. We got to figure out how to make wine out of water. We got to get this done for these kids. Now, both Monroe and Smith, who played football together at Yates, are also hoping that HISD would help to step in and, and fill that deficit like they've helped other schools in the past before. We reached out to HISD for a comment on this, but we haven't heard back as of tonight. Reporting from Houston, Sherman DeSalle, Fox 26 News.